I would love to see a day when I am not a female mechanic, when I'm just an auto mechanic, where there isn't that gender qualifier. We have a very male-dominated field that is the automotive industry. We're not gonna suddenly wake up tomorrow and have it be a 50-50 split. That's, that's just not realistic. If we haven't created a space within the industry that is accepting of women, then we lose them. Increasing our numbers, increasing the retention of women who are interested in the trades, that's what I hope to accomplish here. There's this connection and this magic that happens when women walk through these doors. We've always been a really big believer here that if you can dream it, you can build it, you can make it. Girl Gang Garage is a teaching and learning space. We are focused on changing perceptions in terms of allowing more females into the automotive space and acknowledging the women who are already working within the space. Girl Gang Garage came around kind of organically. It really started out originally as you know, my desire to connect with other women in the industry and to kind of push my skill set and learn new things. We're like less than 2.5% of the industry, but there are tons of amazing women out there. So I, I wanted to create a project that would bring a bunch of women together and kind of create opportunities for more women to explore the trades. First all female build was what we call the Chevy Montage, and it involved about 90 women from all across the country, about 23 different states, and they ranged in experience level from 20, 30 years of experience to I don't know what a ratchet is. There are a ton of gaps, so immediately we were thinking about how are we going to do any of these things. Obviously 3D printing is a good technology to use, so I was like that may be a good opportunity for us. But the skills gap is always the CAD software. That's the limiter, right? Autodesk is tackling that by creating tools like Fusion 360, which is making the world of additive manufacturing and CAD design accessible and removing those barriers of entry. How do we unblock things for people? How do we help them you know, move faster, learn faster? Part of the thing that sets Girl Gang Garage apart from so many other amazing organizations out there is that they're not only building skills in their local community here in Phoenix, but they're building skills nationally. Once this showed up, I'm like, yes, I'm in. I'm in because I want to learn more about how to model parts that I can't get anymore. <laughs> I thought, man, I always wish that I could learn something like this, but I never went a career path where it would have been available to me. And so this was something that they were offering. I was really kind of surprised, so I just had to jump on it. I was a little bit intimidated, but then I started looking at the software a little bit more, and it's incredibly user-friendly. And as they become more and more confident in the workflow, they're going to feel like they're able to design anything. I'm hoping that they will be able to be empowered through these tools to make more ambitious builds. It's been really cool to see multiple different groups of Autodesk come together to support this organization at Girl Gang Garage. We're excited to see you know, where it goes. I think anything that you can do to step outside of your comfort zone and take a chance on learning something new is, is the best thing that you can do.